Hello, in this session, we will look at your optional arguments that you can pass with your Terraform outputs uh, block. So the output blocks also accepts some optional uh, arguments that you can pass. So you can pass description, you can pass sensitive, and you can also pass this depends on argument. So we will look at a few of this uh, one after the other. So first we will look at your description. Now this is simply the documentation so if you want to give some metadata or if you want to give some additional information about why you're using that output block what is the purpose of that output block we can make use of your description argument so because the output values are part of the user interface you can briefly describe what is the purpose of each of that value by using this optional argument so here for example if you see i have two output blocks and I have given the description for each of the output block. So this can be um, useful from other users perspective to understand what is the purpose of this output block. So sure, we can define a description and we can give a description of this output. So let's say the private IP of the EC2 instance again. This is user defined and you can give whatever you want. So likewise, if you want to give a description of what exactly this output is doing or what is the value it is returning, you can make use of this output uh, description argument. So let's say the public IP of the EC2 instance and so on. So this is where we can make use of the description argument to give a a small description as to what is the purpose of this output block what is the value it is going to return so the description should concisely explain the purpose of the output and what kind of value is expected so basically here what is the kind of value that uh, this will return or what is expected so it has to make sense with the description then we have the sensitive now at any point if you want to suppress certain values in the CLI output so for example let's say I'll, I'll execute this so let's run this uh, terraform apply command and let's approve this so when this resource gets created terraform will display those two output values for me let's say the instance private IP and the instance public IP now let's say uh, this is a sensitive information and you don't want to display this on the command line then you can mark it as sensitive so that terraform will not show that value on the command line so any sensitive data it could be your credentials or any information that you consider as sensitive and if you don't want to display that information on the command line we can make use of your sensitive argument so here you can see this is displaying the private ip and the public IP. Now let's say I don't want to display this. So let me quickly destroy this. And so an output can be marked as containing sensitive material upon uh, using this optional sensitive argument. So you can tell Terraform that this is a sensitive value and do not display it. So here you see we are defining this sensitive argument so depending on which output value you don't want to display you can mark it as sensitive now terraform will hide the values marked as sensitive in the messages when you're running the terraform plan command or the terraform apply command so let's see an example for this so if you say as of now this is displaying the value so let's wait for this destroy to complete and now let's go to our main.tf file and let's say the public IP is uh, sensitive I don't want to display that so here we can make use of this uh, sensitive argument and we will set this to true okay so basically I'm telling this is a sensitive information and do not display it so now let's uh, run our terraform apply command and if you see this one so instead of telling known after apply it says sensitive value that means now terraform is uh, considering that 
instance public IP as a sensitive value and it will not display that value on the command line. Okay, so let's wait for this to complete. Just waiting for this to complete and done. So you can see here uh, the private IP it is showing me the private IP. However, the public IP we have set it to sensitive and it will not display that value on the command line. Likewise, at any point, if you want uh, to uh, hide any values of your output, we can make use of the sensitive. However, Terraform will still record these sensitive values in your state file. So Terraform maintains a state file. We will be talking about this later on. So here there is a state file that is available. So whatever the uh, sensitive value that we have, it is still available in this state file. So anyone who can access this state data will have access to the sensitive values in clear text. So if you have access to this uh, state file, you can still see the sensitive data. So whatever the sensitive data you have marked as true, your Terraform will still store that value in the state file. So if you have access to the state file, you can uh, open up the state file and then you can get the value of your output. It will not display this value on the command line when you create those resources. So these are the arguments that you can use with your uh, output blocks. One is a description which can be used to give a description or the purpose of the uh, uh, output and then you have the sensitive so at any point if you want to hide the information you can make use of the sensitive argument that's it for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video